Pillars of Pentagon, an endless quest book. You decide the good of the party must come before the good of an individual. But Fox begins to shriek and whine even more loudly, and you turn to rush to your friend. The heavy hand of the fighter grasps you firmly by the shoulder. You cannot go, Jamie. Fox was unwise, but he made his own decision. No one forced him to leave, Pentagon says. You cannot endanger the party by attempting his rescue. We must leave him to his fate. Still struggling slightly, you are hurried off down the trail, and Fox's cries slowly fade away, but they have been engraved upon your heart in pain. You continue down the narrow wall until it meets the mountain. Soon you must edge along the trail, spreading your arms flat against the mountain to balance your movement. Progress becomes very difficult to make. At long last, the ledge ends in a wide, walk, in a wide rock shelf. The worst is over, Pentagon says. We are about to enter the great cavern, and our path will begin much easier. He turns and faces the blank mountain wall, which rises smooth and unbroken, and then rising his arms, he begins to chant. A doorway slowly grinds open where seconds before there was only solid, unbroken rock. You can see two passages going into the mountain. Come, friends, we have no time to lose. Fortunately, this will be an easy route. You are eagerly heading for the doorway when a long, low growl stops you short. Four huge, dog-like forms slink toward you from inside the mountain. But these are not dogs. They are wolves. Foam drips from their long, white fangs. Their faces are hideous, snarling masks of evil and their eyes glow like embers in a fire pit. If this is going to be easy, hoots Owl, I'd hate to see it get hard. The wolf slink closer, and one leaps at you with a deep, threatening growl. You have nowhere to go, and the sheer edge of the mountain lies behind you. The trail is too narrow to flee upon. You are slowly backing toward the doorway when the wolf jumps upon your back, knocking you to the ground. You roll over and look into the mouth of a vicious wolf. Its glowing red eyes drill into yours, and its hot breath beats upon your face. It leans forward for a deadly bite. Then you hear a great flapping of wings. It's Owl. He is trying to draw the wolf's attention from you by attacking this evil creature. You roll away and press yourself against the doorway. Owl locks his talons into the wolf's head and the ugly creature snaps and snarls with pain and rage. It whips its head from side to side, trying to shake the determined bird. Just as you fear the wolf will free itself from Owl, Baltric rushes up and kills the enraged creature with a blow from his mighty sword. Owl falls to the ground and lies battered but breathing on the ledge. The fighter, too, bleeds from many wounds. Thank you, Baltic, you say. Owl and I both li owe you our lives. The fighter nods, but has no energy left to reply. You look upon the ledge. All of the huge beasts have been slain, but at great expense. Lydia lies beneath a wolf, her dagger buried in the great beast's heart. Pentagon has collapsed against the wall. A wolf lies dead at his feet, burned to a crisp. Fearing that the old man is dead, you slowly approach his crumpled form. But all is not lost, he still yet lives. As you lean over him, the old man whispers, What injuries have we taken? I am all right, and so is Owl, but Baltic bleeds badly and Lydia may be dead. Well, we must see what we can do, he says tiredly. Please, hand me my staff. You pick up his staff and give it to him. Then drag the body of the huge wolf off Lydia. She is covered with blood and lies very still on the ground. Leaning down, Pentagon cries. Quick, there is life in her yet. We are in time. Hold her up, Jamie. Pentagon draws forth a vial of smoky fluid. It shifts within the clear glass as though it has life of its own. He carefully pours the precious potion between the thief's lips, a drop at a time. 
For one breathless moment, nothing happens. Then at last, Lydia opens her eyes. She has the look of a faraway vision in them. Pentagon, she sighs. I am so glad you're not a wolf. So am I, chuckles the old man. So am I. Now rest for a moment, my dear. You'll be all right soon. I must see the Baltic. Though the fighter's wounds are bloody, they are rather less serious, and Pentagon quickly tends to him. At last, everyone is cared for, and you notice that the edge of the doorway ripples and wiggles like a reflection on water. Quick, cries Pentagon. The spell is losing its power. Helping Lydia and Baltic, you hurry through the opening. The boulder grinds shut behind you, for you are just in time. Vote one, if you choose the corridor on the right. Vote two, if you choose the corridor on the left. Again, vote one for the right, and vote two for the left. You have yourself a wonderful and blessed day.